Professional baseball player and manager Ken Oberkfell is a 1974 graduate of Collinsville High School. He played baseball for the Cayhawks and his senior year was the only unanimous selection on the All-Southwestern Conference team. He also was named to the Post-Dispatch All-Metro team. He was twice selected Collinsville's most valuable player and the honor came as no surprise. His senior season, he led the team in runs batted in with 21 and a batting average of 444. His teammates will tell you, you could always tell when Ken was taking batting practice. The sound of the ball coming off his bat was different than the rest of ours. In a December 1973 interview, Cayhawk coach Terry Smith was asked about the upcoming season. He said, I have a senior shortstop you're going to hear about when the draft comes up next summer. Ken Obergfell is a left-handed hitting shortstop who is a fine fielder, fast runner, and good hitter. I don't know if he'll be good enough to be a first round draft choice, but I do know a lot of pro scouts have been interested in him. I think he has a great potential to become a major leaguer. Obergfell went on to play ball for Belleville Area College, where he was named to the first team on the Junior College All-America baseball team. He was scouted by the St. Louis Cardinals and signed as a free agent on his birthday, May 4th in 1975. Continuing to produce big numbers, he played for farm teams in the Cardinals system, and then on August 22, 1977, at 21 years old, he broke into the big leagues as a second baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. He played for eight seasons in St. Louis. The highlight of his Major League Baseball career was being a member of the Cardinals' 1982 World Championship team as part of the best infield in baseball, alongside Tommy Herr, Keith Hernandez, and Ozzie Smith. In 1982, Obergfell, nicknamed Obi, batted 289 with 55 runs scored and 34 runs batted in, en route to the National League East title. In Game 2 of the National League Championship Series against the Atlanta Braves, Obergfell made arguably the biggest play of his career, hitting an RBI single in the bottom of the ninth to drive in the winning run, giving the Cardinals a 4-3 win. And who can ever forget Ernie Hayes cranking out the Star Wars theme on the Bush Stadium organ every time Obi came to bat. Obergfell was traded to the Atlanta Braves in 1984 and went on to play for the Pittsburgh Pirates, San Francisco Giants, Houston Astros, and California Angels. Among his memories are playing for the Giants in the 1989 World Series during the historic game when an earthquake struck the Bay Area. He retired from playing in 1992. Obergfell transitioned to coaching and worked in the Philadelphia Phillies and New York Mets organizations. He was named Minor League Manager of the Year in 2005 and won Winter League and Caribbean Series championships managing in the Dominican Republic. He coached for several minor league teams and eventually retired to return to the Collinsville, Maryville area and coached for the Gateway Grizzlies. Today, he enjoys playing golf and mentoring young baseball players. He's also served as a color commentator for Cayhawks Baseball on the Cayhawks Sports Network.